Hello, my name is Duncan, Echo Alpha 5 Oscar November, and I want to make a short video today of the antenna system I use in my mobile station. Basically it consists of four pieces. First of all, the mount. This is a Hustler ball mount. It has three bolts which go through the chassis to provide an excellent mechanical and electrical connection to the body of the car. Then we have three pieces which make up the radiating sector and depending on the antenna band that we wish to use, we use different sections of the antenna. First of all, this piece, this is an MFJ telescopic whip. It's 12 feet long when it's fully telescoped and you can see about 2 feet long when it's telescoped down. If we want to use this on the 10, 12 or 15 meter bands, all we need to do is extend the antenna to a quarter wavelength on the particular band and screw it into the mount. So it's just as simple as doing this. I'm going to do it for 10 meters. I know the measurement already. That's it more or less. And it just screws in. And all you need to do if you want to go onto the 12 or 15 meter bands is just keep on pulling the antenna out until it gets to that uh, size for that particular band. On 10 meters it's about eight and a half feet. On 12 meters it's about 10 feet. And on 15 meters it's just short of 12 feet. Now, if we want to use the antenna on 17 meters, we need the next piece. This is a three foot extension. This is made by DX Engineering. And you have to remember to get the, uh, the a 3 8 by 24 stud, which is extra. So all you do is, you just take off the antenna. For 17 meters, we extend this to just over 10 feet long, screw it in, and here we have a full quarter wave on 17 meters. Now if we want to do 20 meters, the same, only using the screwdriver base without any turns on the coil, so we just extend this to a to its full size. The whip is 12 feet, the mast is 3 feet, the screwdriver base is 2 feet. Altogether that gives a size of 17 feet, which is a full size quarter wave on 20 meters. So let's just put it all together. And that's the antenna ready to roll on 20 meters. Now, if we want to use it on 40, what we have to do is use some turns on the coil. So let's see how that works. I need to come and take a close up here. You see you have a little screw here which you loosen off. This is a sleeve and you just pull this down. What you can do is you can tune it by ear and then you can fine tune it by keying the microphone and pulling the sleeve up and down. Since this antenna is less than a quarter wave physically on 40 meters, a full wave is just over 30 feet and this is 17 feet. When it's tuned up here, it will have a low impedance at the feet point. So what we need to do is use this coil here on the base. This is a Lakeview Engineering uh, coil. And you can see it's uh, connected to the base of the antenna. So all we do is just clip it on here and again, trial and error to get your tune up on 40 meters. And if you want to use 80, same rule applies. You just need more turns on the coil at the top. Your base impedance will be lower, so you need to just clip in a little bit more base impedance to get a good SWR on 80. Now let me just come back here so you can see what this looks like on the car. should give you a good view of the full-size antenna for 20 and with the tuning for 40 and 80 meters. We're in the port of Valencia. If you look out here you can see some of the coastline and this is the marina 
on the north side of the port. You can see the cruise ships uh, down here and cranes off towards the south side of the port. This is the location that allows me to work lots of DX. I've worked 302 countries from the car. The latest one being Swains Island this week and I'm really lucky to be able to work DX from this privileged and sunny location. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it answered the questions of many of you who speak to me and ask what kind of antenna I'm using on the mobile station. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.